All right, in this video, finally problem number 36 on the free ATIT's math practice test that you can find over at www.bcraftmath.com. I say finally number 36 because the making of these 36 questions into videos has taken almost or pretty much half a year. So I appreciate your patience. Now, before we dive into it, uh, one thing to make note of here, this free practice test, I did edit one last piece. I did edit number 36. I wanted to change the way it looked, and this will have an effect on one of the answers. So if you've worked the test out, make sure you've watched this video because I did make some changes, and it will affect one of our answers here. And that question talks about distribution shapes, the shape of a distribution. So I encourage you to go over to Google, type in distribution shapes, statistics, and it'll bring up some of these words that I'm getting ready to use. So we got two different types of classes here. Comment on the shape of the distribution for the final grades of Mr. Craft's online students and face-to-face -face students in a college algebra class. So let's look at the online class, the blue bars. If I come through here and roughly trace through the tops of these bars, uh, notice that we have somewhat of a, a it looks kind of symmetrical to me. Um, my drawing's not perfect by any means, but it has what's called a bell shape, a normal shape, a symmetric shape. If you take a stats course later on in your college career, you will run across these distributions in a statistics class. So I'm going to say the online class is approximately normal. Now, what changes did I make? Well, if you looked at an old copy of the free ATIT's math practice test here, I had the A's first, then the B's, C's, D's, and F's. What I did here is technically what I should be doing is I should be starting from smaller numbers to bigger numbers from left to right. So, you know, F's, depending on what grading scale, a 10 point grading scale, anything less than a 60 would be here. Anything between a 60 and a 70 would be a D on a 10 point scale. Anything between a 70 and an 80 would be a C. A B would be an 80 to a 90 and an A would be 90 to 100. So, uh, you know, smallest to biggest, that's what I changed. Now here is the answer that got changed. It's gonna be this next one here, the face-to-face -face class. More students got A's than those who got B's, then C's, then D's, then F's. So notice we kinda of have this little pattern here. And, and what that appears to be to me is what's called a skewed distribution. Now which way is this thing skewed? It's skewed to the left, this side. It has a little left tail on it. We call this a negatively skewed distribution. So therefore, for the face-to-face -face class, we can say that our distribution is skewed to the left or negatively skewed. Now again, I encourage you to go check out those images that I mentioned back at the beginning of the video where you just go Google shapes of distributions for statistics, or you don't even have to type that in verbatim. But if you type that in, you're gonna see some of these same things going on. Uh, and I think I did mention this a while back when I was working on this in the goal-based objective videos or maybe even the mixed review videos. I can't remember. I know there's a lot of videos to watch on the T's test, and I think we're somewhere in the 70 or 80 range. I don't know how many exactly off the top of my head, but I think that's plenty to prepare you for the math portion of the T's. And there you have it, problem number 36, the final problem on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can pick this up over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.